Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to Room 9, the region's largest summer camp. It is Dr. Sanders, a.k.a. as known as Gator. Yes, that is my camp name, and I am here to teach a little ELA and math to all of my pre-K and K students and to all who are watching. I hope you're having a wonderful summer. But remember, what do I always say? It doesn't matter if you're two <coughs> or 102, we can have some fun. F U N, fun. But also, we will learn something while we're having some fun. <coughs> remember, grown ups, you haven't registered for pre K for next year? It's some amazing pre K teachers all around our city and county. Make sure you check with your local school district so you can get registered. You all ready to get started? Let's get this bar camp started. Let's take a look at our objectives for the week. And, oh, you wanna know what we're talking about? We're talking about taking a trip to the beach. I want you to think all about the beach. Um, in ELA, we are going to identify elements of a story, including the setting, the characters, and key events that happen in the story. And in math, we will use numbers to show quantity and also decompose and compose numbers up to 20. Basically, what we're doing is we're recognizing some numbers and doing some basic addition. You ready to get started? Let's get started with some of our camp names. Whose name is this? That is Kitty. Hi, Kitty. Let's spell Kitty. Capital K-I-T-T-Y. K-I-T-T-Y. Hi, Kitty. And whose name is this? Moonstar. Let's spell Moonstar. What, uh, what letter is this? A capital M. What letter is this? A T, let's spell moon star. M O O N S T A R. M O O N S T A R. <coughs> and whose name is this? Bunny, hi, Bunny. What letter is this? A B, what letter is this? A Y, let's spell Bunny. Bunny. B U N N Y. B U N N Y. And let me take my hat off. Sorry. And whose name is this? Popcorn. Let's spell popcorn. P O P C O R N. P O P C O R N. Hi, popcorn. And whose name? Whose camp name is this? Weeble, I like that we Weeble. What letter is this? An E, what letter is this? A capital W, let's spell Weeble. Weeble, W-E-E-B-L-E. W-E-E-B-L-E. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, all my campers. Let's count, let's clap the syllables in each one of these names. Remember when you kept clap the syllables, you say the name like, Kitty, kitty. All right, let's clap the syllables. <laughs> syllables. Kitty, let's cap kitty. Kitty. How many syllables? Two. Moon star. Let's clap moon star. How many syllables? Two. Bunny. Let me see you clap bunny. Bunny. How many syllables? Two and whose name is that? Uh, popcorn. Let's clap the syllables in popcorn. Popcorn. How many syllables did popcorn have? Two and Weeble. How many? Two. Right. Let's clap the syllables. Let's go. Weeble. Two syllables in Weeble. 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 I have some letters, 
and I'll ask you the letter and probably the sound and maybe a word. We'll see. Okay, here we go. What word letter is this? That is a J. What sound does J make? J, 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 J. Yes. <coughs> J, like jump. And what else? Juice. Who want? I'm going to take a drink of my juice. <sighs> Actually, it's just water. But juice. All right. What letter is this? A W? What sound does W make? Ooh. Like Weeble, yes. Water. I'm going to pour some water on your head. It might feel good in this weather. What? Oh, I thought she said something. What? What starts with a W, too? And what letter is this? That's an H. And what sound does H make? <sighs> Hello. Hop. Hop. Our little critters hop, don't they? Yes. And what letter is this? It's an A. What sound does A make? You're right. It makes two sounds because it's a vowel. A makes the A eh sound like an um, alligator or the A sound like in, hmm, ape, or able. You are able to do anything you want. So, A and A. And what sound is this? L, what sound is this? What letter is this? L, and what sound does this letter make? L, like in Lego. Lily pad, lollipop. Who has a lollipop right now? If you have a lollipop, please let please share with me. Please share with me. Let's think about this. Hmm, the beach. Has anyone ever been to the beach? Oh, yes, I have too. Did you have fun at the beach? What did you? You, yes. What did you do at the beach? Hold on. I'm going to write some of the things down that you do or that you did at the beach. Or that you can do some things you did or things you see at the beach. Oh, yeah. You see. Oh. Shh. Don't tell nobody. You see sand. What else do you see? Water? W-A-T-E-R. Seashells? Yes, you see shells? We'll write seashells. I heard somebody say seashells. I wish I can write everything that you're saying. You see, fish? Maybe. Oh, not just sharks? Oh, okay, sharks. If I'm at a beach and I see sharks, I'm surely not getting in the water. Usually you see people at the beach. I'm going to use a different color. People. Uh, okay. All right. So boys and girls, we're going to take a trip. A trip. To the beach. So just get, hold on, we'll be right there. We'll be there at the beach. All right, boys and girls, we made it to the beach. We made it to the beach. Do you see the beach that we're at? This is an amazing beach. Tell me some things that you see. 
yeah, you see, do you see, I see a seal. Sometimes the seals are on the beach. You see the beach umbrellas to keep the sun out of your face. Oh, the ladies are laying on their beach chairs. Oh, look at right. What are they doing? Yes, they're building a sand castle. I see a crab. Oh, look in the water. Look in the water and tell me, what do you see? Oh, you, you see somebody surfing? Somebody snorkeling? And this looks like this is like a um, like a, a big floaty where people are just chilling like a lounge chair in the ocean. We see all the sand. You see the sand right here. Look at this person right here. If you look very carefully, yes, yeah, she has a camera, so people are taking pictures at the camera. Somebody has their dog on the beach. So, when you go to the beach, you usually have sand and water. You all mentioned that earlier. But, um, so this is our beach. This is our Lego beach that Adara fixed. And all the good stuff you see on the beach. All right. Okay, it's time to go back to my room. We're, done. We're finished with the beach. Okay. Hey, campers, did you enjoy our trip to the beach? Did we really go to the beach? No, we just had a beach scene, but those are some things you can't, you may, you may see at the beach. Not all the time, but you may see some things at the beach. So when you go to the beach, the one thing you have to do is be careful, be careful and don't go out into the water if you're not don't go too far out into the water. And make sure you have some floaties on or a life jacket on to be safe. Take a look at everything. But some, most of the times, beaches are just relaxing. Just a time to get away just to relax and have fun. So I would love to see if you go on the beach, share some of your beach pictures. Or share some of your pictures that you draw about a beach. I would love to see some of those campers. And... Enjoy your vacation when you did do go. So you've been sitting a long time. Please stand up. Jump up and down ten times. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hit the beach way three times. Go. Ooh, one, ooh, two, ooh, 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 three. Hit the snort, hit the swim. One, two, three. That's going underwater, right? Now hit the other swim. <laughs> All right, uh, 10 jumping jacks, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. All right, surf. Who can surf? For eight, go. Ooh, here comes a big wave. Get down. Oh, yeah, we came back down. Ah. Right on, dude. Oh, um, <laughs> smile, laugh for ten, go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, campers, sit down on three. One, two, three. Up, down, up, down. Sit right down on the beach or on the floor or in your chair, your beach chair. It doesn't matter where. Just have some fun. All right, we have a book. And because I looked up beaches and it says a sandy or pebbly uh, land form or sandy or pebbly place that's close to water. 
But most of the time, when we think about a beach, we think about it being at um, um, at an ocean. In an ocean. And a lot of times we do. But in St. Louis, we have some amazing places that we can call beaches as well. Maybe we'll get to visit some. Maybe we won't. We'll see. I'll let you know. But today, we're going to read a book. It's called About Habitats Ocean. Ocean. Oceans. Sorry, oceans. There's an S at the end. You see the S at the end? Ooh, what do you see on the front cover? Hmm. They look like dolphins. We'll find out what they are. Um, do you see a big what? Wave? Yes. Does that look, that looks, ooh, that looks so relaxing. This is the what? Back cover? I think that's a beluga whale, but we'll find out. A beluga whale. This is the what? Spine. This is the what? Front cover. And this book is written by Catherine Seal and it's illustrated by John Seal. If Catherine Seal wrote the book, what is she? She is the author. If John Seal drew the pictures, what is he? Oh, he said, if he illustrated it, what is he? Yes, he is the illustrator. I just told you that, didn't I? Okay, in this book, I have permission from hmm, Peachtree Publishing to read the story. And this is the what? Title page about oceans. Do you know the names of the oceans that we have? Let's name them real quick. Pacific, Atlantic, Indian. I'm going too fast, hold on. Pacific, say Pacific. Atlantic, Indian, and the Arctic Ocean. I wanna say them again? Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, and Arctic. Oceans are huge bodies of salt water that cover most of the earth. All the world's oceans are joined together. The bottom of the ocean is often called the ocean floor. Parts of it are flat. That's a stingray. Other places on the ocean floor have the world's tallest mountains and deepest valleys. Ocean water is always moving. And these are short beaked dolphins. That's what these are called. The ocean in oceans, <laughs> the water in oceans may be warm and tropical. What kind of fish do you see on that page? A clownfish or cold and frozen and yes that was a beluga whale plants that live in oceans need sunshine to grow they live in shallow water or float near the top where there is more light We have some seaweed and some kelp and a sea lion. And a sargassum fish. <laughs> you see him? He's he's hiding there. Most ocean animals live near the top of the water where there is plenty of sunlight.
This is a black wing flying fish. Some, ocean, some live in the dim light between the surface and the bottom of the ocean. A sperm whale and a giant squid. Fewer animals live in the deepest part of the ocean where it is cold and dark. This is a humpback anglerfish. Animals that live in the oceans move in different ways. And if you take a look, you can see how they move. Some always stay in one place. If you look at those, those are giant clams. Many ocean animals eat meat. So if they eat if they eat meat and they're in the ocean, what do you think they eat? Other fish. <laughs> this is a uh Atlantic sailfish. And, he, and he's eating some sardines. Have you ever eaten sardines? Mmm, they're good. You should try them on some crackers. Ask your grown up to value some from the store. Others eat plants. This is a green sea turtle. Ocean animals need ways to stay safe. They may hide, swim together in schools, attack enemies, or use poison. I like that fish right there. That's a lionfish. Ooh, that's a, that one is a leafy sea dragon. And these fish are swimming in the school. When fish are together, they're in the school. Oceans provide food, jobs, transportation, and recreation for people all over the world. They are important places that need to be protected. Did you like our trip to the beach? Did you like our book? Can you tell me something about something about the oceans? Tell me something about oceans. Pacific, yes, that's one of the oceans. It's water. Is it fresh water? Can you drink it? No, it's what? S salt water. That's right, it's salt water. Um, you saw a giant clam? Yes, tell me something else that you saw. Or that you know, anything you want to say. Oh, the lionfish. The lionfish. Did you see this in, in, in our book? No, that's a blue dolphin. We saw dolphins, though. Yes, we did see dolphins. And when the ocean meets the land, what does it make? Island, yes, if it surrounds the land. No, it makes the what? Beach. It makes the beach. Yes, it makes the beach. All right, and that book was Oceans. Right, boys and girls, let's do some counting. We are going to count from zero to um, 100 by 10. Let's go. Zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now we're going to count from zero to 100 by 25. 
Zero to 100 by 25. Zero. 25. Right there, right? 25. 50. 75. 100. Do that one again. Zero. 25. 50. 75. 100. Now we're going to count from zero to 30 by threes. Zero to 30 by threes. Zero, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Hmm. I have a question. Sometimes I get confused on my numbers. Can anybody tell me what number is this right here? Twenty-six. Twenty-six. What two digits make up twenty-six? A two and a six. A two and a six, right? Hmm. What number is this right here? 60? What two digits make up 60? A 6 and a 0. Ooh. What number is this? Can you see that number? Yes, it's a 9. That is a 9. You are right, boys and girls, it's 9. And guess what? Let's spell the word nine, our favorite word. Let's spell nine, nine, N-I-N-E, nine. Thank you for being in room nine, campers. Bye-bye. Teaching in Room 9 is made possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you.